with this video we will be doing Taylor Swift on the Muse at the Golden Globes and if you want to help this channel and the content that we make it, please help support our merchandise the link is in the description if you didn't hit the like button make sure you hit the like button try and get the channel to grow the only way we're gonna do this if you like share and comment on the content so without further ado let's get into the video let's go Chi Chi, get the Yayo. Get the Yayo. The big difference between the Golden Globes and the NFL, on the Golden Globes, we have fewer camera shots of Taylor Swift. I swear. <laughs> more to go to. Yo, Taylor snaps. Swift unused like she's like by that. a joke <laughs> made by Golden Globes host Joe Coy. I'm just Man, I get the joke because when you do, when she's Taylor Swift at NFL game, they show her a lot yeah, at the NFL game. I so do. Yeah, so I understood the joke. That was funny, but she didn't seem to like it too Nah, much. she didn't like it at all. Here to have fun. During the award show, the comedian poked fun at the Case attention Tay's been getting she poppin'. from the NFL week <laughs> yeah, after she week poppin'. at her yeah, boat, Travis is. Kelsey's games. The box. She is there. Whatever that means. She's poppin'. You see all the fans. Yeah. Your favorite fan. fan. We've seen the building. We don't even know. We've seen the building. There it is. Ring the bell. Right now. Just ahead of the Globes, there was a football doubleheader, and Joe used that lead-in as a chance to throw a playful oh, dig at the singer. It. Big difference between the Golden Globes and the NFL. On the Golden Globes, we have fewer camera shots of Taylor Swift. <laughs> I swear, there's just more to go to here. Yeah, when the camera cut to Tay's reaction, she had a she deadpan dead. look and just shook it off we with catch him a in the swig hallway. of her beverage. We're having fun. Mm -hmm. He must not be listening to Taylor Swift music. Yeah, she's very direct. She's part of that get back game. Yeah, she's gonna find a way. <laughs> and that look was like, wait till I catch you backstage. Wait. I wonder if they run into each other backstage. Like, how did that go? Yeah, right. She better, uh, he better not have a roadster. <laughs> <laughs> and just shook it off with a swig of her beverage. We're having fun tonight. Okay, you're like, we're going to be funny, but it's going to be fun. Okay. We're not going to lose it, but it's going to be there. Right. But it's going to be me. Joe kicked off the night me. with his monologue. There were some laughs. Robert De Niro's here. I'm a bit awestruck. This guy's amazing. Decade after decade. <laughs> he was fine. Everybody. It's got to be your greatest performance ever. How'd you get her pregnant at 80? Dang. Oh. Oh. I think, so everybody, I think everybody asked that question like when they found out he was having a baby. Like, oh, you still have kids? Oh, that's, that's, that's crazy. But I said, I like that. He was, everybody was getting it. That's crazy. the thing of being a comedian. You got to pick people out. You got to be entertainer. Yeah, like to me, he looked like he was just trying to be an entertainer. Yeah. And he know he heard that before. That's not the first time he heard that question. Yeah. <laughs> But there were also some jokes that fell flat. Turns out Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will still get paid millions of dollars for doing absolutely nothing. And that's just oh. like Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> and when Joe Zingers didn't land, he blamed the I got writer's the room. The key moment in Barbie is when she goes from perfect beauty to bad breath, cellulite, and flat feet. <laughs> or what casting directors call character actor. <laughs> <laughs> some I wrote, some other people wrote. He also called out. Oh, I heard this on the radio. I didn't know this was the same guy that was connected uh, to the Taylor Swift, but a lot of people um, had a problem with it. Um, the people that seen the movie, the reference he's given is all from the movie um, that um, the Barbie movie. I haven't seen mm -hmm. the Barbie movie, I seen so it. I didn't get the reference. But I guess for people that did see the movie, they got the reference, and that joke didn't help. That that made it to the radio. I heard that joke on the radio. Oh snap! Yeah. <laughs> Some I wrote, some other people wrote. He also called out the fact he <laughs> scored this gig less than two weeks ago. Yeah, Yo, I got this gig 10 days ago. You want a perfect monologue? <laughs> Yo, shut up. I mean, it's this is a really big moment. And everyone, <laughs> everyone I mean, loves it. I mean, this is one thing that we grew up watching is just the Globes and yeah. all the award shows. It's, and that was kind of like our family thing. So for me to have the the big seat in the house is uh yeah that's a proud moment yeah definitely. yeah despite the limited laughs this gig was a big deal to joe yeah. just days ahead of the show the comedian told et why 
it's representation, man. It really does. It's like when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure that's huge. Man. I'm pretty sure he probably never figured in his lifetime until he got that call that he would actually be right. hosting that. You feel what I'm saying? So, I mean, there's a big moment. Some jokes didn't land, but I only got a job in 10 days. I try to do the best that I could. Some people laugh. Some people uh, didn't laugh. But this is going down to history, especially uh, for my family. I'm pretty sure his family got the clippings cut out of the newspaper and the magazines that he was in. Like, this was huge for uh, his mo uh, family and for his community. Yeah, and they and they get a uh, gig like this on such short notice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And to step up the way he did. Yeah. I, I think he's rather funny. I think I he's funny too. <laughs> I think he's, he's funny too. Man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Everybody I gotta check into him. The toughest skin in the world. I yeah. think I've seen a couple of his uh couple of his acts. I've never just, seen him. He's just as I'm gonna have to he's, check him out. He's I'm he, I'm almost surprised that they picked him. Like it's yeah. one of them like oh, yeah? you should have expected him to be worse. <laughs> oh, like sad. you know what I'm saying? Because he's really aggressive with his humor, but it's hilarious. Man. Okay. We're gonna check him out. Yeah, we're definitely gonna check him out kid all we could watch were award shows yeah. you know what i mean and yeah and as a kid you you look for something to, to inspire you indirectly you know yeah, i don't need definitely. you to tell me who you are but as long as i can see you up there then i, I know do it. that it's possible and Facts. i didn't have that and and now here we are mm -hmm. you know 30 yeah. what 35 years later on, in the game in the and that's why i said what he did was big for his family and for his community because other people from his community they're looking at him like oh i know that guy he did it then i know i could do it it's and it's possible. a gift that keep on giving yeah just knowing that it's possible game and, and and now i get to be that i can be that for somebody Facts. it's dope it's trade TV. Let's get it. Just Lamar Wilson here representing Ghetto Action News Network underscore all lower cases. No spaces. And you can find us on Facebook and when you do, follow the page, like the page, share the page, and come back. Let me get right on into this. My man Joe Coy was firing everybody up at the Golden <laughs> Globe was. Awards. And he started with Taylor Swift. She didn't seem to respond too uh happily nah, she didn't. Uh, to his zingers, but he didn't stop. He just said, Bow, 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 <laughs> kept shooting people. He caught the Nero for having the baby yeah. at an old age. 80. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, man, that's that's it's part of the fun of these yeah, awards shows. shows. Seeing people kinda caught off guard, you know. Some people don't respond to it too well, but I thought it was funny. Yeah, and I'm just used to seeing some of his humor, but I definitely want to check in with him more. What do you think about this? I think um, he was uh, pretty funny. I don't think it was a, a super bad joke. I don't think it should have been a Will Smith, Chris Rock. I don't think Travis Kelsey should have <laughs> walked up there and smacked him uh, right. for the joke. But I thought he was a uh, funny guy, and I want to check out more for him. Shout out to him. Um, for representing for his community, inspires other in his community, and yeah. I think what he did was dope, and it was a big moment for him, and I can't wait to do more from him. But today, it's your boy Trey TV, okay. and I'm out.